Okay, before we get into the details of assessment, so we need to know, uh, understand what is assessment uh, exactly. So assessment is known as a Chukai Pintu. So it is imposed by the local authorities such as uh, MPAJ and MPSJ. So the purpose of the assessment is to construct, maintain uh, for the public uh, facilities and amenities like uh, lamp posts, longkang, everything. So the property owner have to pay twice in the years because uh, it's payable a half yearly uh, basis before end of February and end of August. So basically there are two types of assessments. The first one is annual value which is Nila Dahuna and it was used by all states in Malaysia except Johor. So it was based on the estimated gross annual rent that are reasonable which is Anggaran in Malay which means it's Anggaran Kasa Sewa Tahunan Yang Muna Sabah. And the rent must be gross uh, meaning that the outgoing are not yet been deducted. So the outgoing is for example like maintenance, insurance and any rates or taxes that involve. So if the buildings or land that are partially occupied or are vacant, incomplete buildings or abandoned, so the annual value will be 10% of the open market value and the open market value will be determined by the valuer. And the nila tahuna will be calculated uh, by, the by using the estimated gross annual rent per month times 12. And for the improved value, which means the second, the second value, uh, the nila tambahan, it was only been used in Johor and it based on the market value, which is the harga pasaran of the property, where the owner willing to sell and the holdings is obtained by a willing buyer in the transaction of the property. Okay, so what is the difference of annual value and improved value? So for annual value, uh, this property, this subject property is located at MBAJ and for improved value, the subject property is located at MBJB. So the annual value uh, is based on the monthly rental times 12, then times the rates uh, that set by the local authority. And, but for the improved value, uh, it is based on the market value and times the rates set by the local authority in MBAJB. A person can object if they are fall under this category. The first one, if the property assessment rate is overvalued. The second one, if the property assessment rate is undervalued. And then the third one will be if the property is not subject to tax. Okay, so the objections need to be writing form to the local authority. And then, for example, if you found that your property is not subject for tax, then you are allowed to object. Okay, meanwhile, if your objection is rejected, then you may appeal to the High Court. After that, the Federal Court will make the final decision of the appeal. Now, I'm going to talk about the proceeding in default and array. If the property owner did not pay for the assessment, then he or she should pay for the same fees with penalty. While if the outstanding assessment accumulate for some time, it would be the considered in array. So for in array, the local authority will issue a warrant and they have the right to sell the movable asset inside the property that, to cover the outstanding of assessment. For example, if Mr. A did not pay for his assessment charges for 5 years, the outstanding assessment amount will be, then be qualified for an array. He, after that, his asset in the property may be sold off to cover the assessment that he owned. So, principal assessment. It means that the, the assessment rate made based on which principle. There's three principles. So first of all, reverse sit standing bus. Secondly, turn off the list. And thirdly, hypothetical tenant. So turn off list. What is turn off list? Actually, it's a list that stated all the assessment rate. Okay. So however, there is uh, the local authority has to prepare a new valuation list once every five years or within the time uh, within the time period. So basically, it's a new assessment rate up for the valuation list. But the turn of the list is the uh, previous or the currently using assessment rate. Brevus six standibus. So why is Brevus six standibus? You should call it as a RSS. So when a valuation valuation is taken for assessment purpose, then he or she should always follow what is stated as in the title. Okay. So. If the owner of the property, he or she using it as a residential, but then the title is stated as a commercial. 
So the valuable should take it as a commercial mm -hmm. and the assessment would be made based on commercial assessment rate. Hypothetical tenant. It means that the property is vacant or it's occupied by the owner and then we assume it the property is occupied by a tenant, it's leased by a tenant. So we call it hypothetical. Basically it's a, a fictional person or we call it a non-assistant person. So the property is leased to hypothetical tenant and so we assume there's a tenant and so of course the assessment rate would be made based on the assumption of the property is leased up. Then the assessment rate basically is based on the gross rent to the annual value. <coughs> so exam exemption. Exemption from rates got four categories. So first one, public places for religious worship such as Jamit Mosque at KL or uh, and the Batu Cave at Selangor. Secondly, and those licensed public burial grounds or cemetery such as uh, Muslim Cemetery at Jalan or Trust Christian Cemetery and Cemetery located 4 miles away from KL and uh, along the main Trust Highway So third one is a public school such as those SMK Sokola Menengah Kebangsaan And lastly is the public places for charity purpose or for the purpose of the science, literature or fine art So uh, the Places such as the Independent Living and Training Center (ILTC) is non-profit organization in Rabang. So reduction from the assessment rate uh, for any holdings that used for recreational, social, or welfare purposes. Those non-profit purposes. So for example, Malaysia Nature Society (MNS). So their assessment reduction is only 30 ringgit, but they still get the reduction instead of exemption. So if there is any new building, or if the building goes through major renovation or major re uh, rebuild or refurbishment, they need to notify the local authority within 15 days. This is because uh, any extension or renovation will affect the assessment amount. So if they fail to notify the local authority, then there will be a penalty of not more than 2,000 or a prison of six months and uh, not more than six months or both together so for example if Mr. A were to extend the back of his house by about five feet he will still need to notify the local authority because the assessment amount has changed okay so I think I kind of understand what is assessment but uh, how do you calculate it uh? come I show you mm, okay so my property is a double story link house in Pandan Inda Ampang I think the local authority is MPAJ la, and the size is about 25 by 80. Uh, my neighbors, I see them, they can collect rental about 2000 per month. So how much is the annual rental? Do you have a pen? Yes, I have a pen. Okay, so total annual rental would be times 12, would be RM24,000. And uh, what is the rate of assessment la, for my property? Okay, come here. So this is a rate the, of assessment by MPAJ. Mm -hmm. So they have the different type of the rate here. So actually yours is under residential. Yep. So it's 5.5%. Uh -huh. So your rate will be the 5.5%. Okay, so 5.5% multiplied by 24,000. Yes. So that will be about uh, 1,320. So is that it? No, this is a yearly uh, Chukai Pintu. So mm -hmm. we pay Chukai Pintu twice in a year. So you need to divide half of it. So half will be half yearly. Mm -hmm. And that is about RM660. Okay, and okay. this you must remember that the every Chukai Pintu have to pay before every uh, end of the February and end of August. Oh, August is very soon. Okay, I'll be I'll remember to pay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Arigato. Arigato. Okay, so now I know how to calculate assessment. Uh, but how can I pay? Because uh, during government office hours, I'll be working also, and I'll be in the office, so I can't go into the government office and pay. No worry, not so convenient. You can pay through online. Mm. No, the technology is so king. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs>